Hi guys, Fat Pudding here. Welcome back to another episode on Armor 3 Exile. We've just um, logged back in. Uh, we're at the base. We're just about to go and do a mission. So I'm just basically loading up my BTR. I'll quickly show you what we're currently carrying. I'm currently carrying the um, M107 Desert with a... What's it called? An LRPS scope. We have got some AT missiles in case we come in contact with any heavy armor. We've got plenty of uh, ammo um, that's actually inside the inventory of the BTR. Uh, today we are going to try and go, like I said, going to complete a mission. Okay, we just had a quick look there with the AT. We've not been able to get a um, shoulder launcher that is compatible with the rockets that I bought. So that's a bit of a mistake. <laughs> I do apologize for that. Um, so we are running the uh, Moors MK4 with, with an 84mm rocket. Um, the only problem with this particular shoulder launch is that we only have one one rocket we can use if we come against any uh, armour, like, as in vehicles. We're just going to check we've got some food. We've got an Instadoc, a bottle of water, which is empty, so we'll swap that for a full bottle. We're leaving that here, we're going in the BTR, so we're going to lock that up. I'll quickly show you the map where we're heading to. We're going to hold, go over and head over towards the listening post, see if we can do this mission. So I'm just going to put a waypoint down. I uh, hope you're all are doing well today, um, guys. Having a good Friday evening, whatever you're up to. I hope your day hasn't been too stressful with regards um, work and whatever else, school maybe. So what I'll do, I'll head off. We've got five, five and a half clicks, nearly six clicks to get there. And I'll bring you back when we're uh, pretty close to the mission. Um, as I have to um, claim the mission within two Ks. So I'll do that and I'll see you in a bit. 2,000 years later. Welcome back, guys. We are, we're just about 1.4 clicks away from the mission. The, it's just gone dark as you can see on the server so I'm running night vision at the moment and that's the reason why you're seeing the, the circle on the screen oh we've got a quinn on there popping in the road well, we could actually take that and take it back to the trailers to sell um, but there's more money than doing the mission at the moment so we could actually come back on the way on the way back to the traders and pick that up on the way so we'll just put that down on the uh, on the map to remind myself if it's still here when I come back it will tow it back to the trader so hopefully I'm going to get up onto a hill somewhere where I can get um, a better view of the mission and the AI that are surrounding it and hopefully take it out with the, the gunner on the BTR uh, oh, sugar. Because we have actually got two uh, guns on this uh, particular model. And I'll show you in a moment. A few moments later. Okay, we are actually looking for a mast on this mission. Um, it's called Listening Post, which is here, Bandit Listening Post. And basically, what it is, it's a tall mast with enemies around the bottom of it. So I'll jump back out the map and I'll zoom in on the cannon. And as you can see, we've got a vehicle and we've got some AI around the, the base of the mast. So once you complete the, the mission, the mast disappears. Um, what I usually do is move in and then just loot the, the AI because they do have um, money on them, which I um, end up taking back to the traders and putting into my safe which is basically a locker so you can use to spend on vehicles and equipment and um, base upgrades etc etc so I'm just going to get into a better position because we are on a slight gradient here um, there's another place base up there as you can see so I'm going to move up toward this hill in front to the north and hopefully we're not going to be too close my concern is um, as you know AT and I'll 
I'll explain that in more detail. Basically, AT is um, guided rockets that can take out um, armored vehicles. So, for example, you know this particular BTR that we are driving at the moment. So, what I usually do is park up the vehicle. I'll I'll lock it up so no one else can use it, just in case I die, because it does actually happen. But don't lock it when you're in it. <laughs> Get out first. Okay. Just check what we've got. We're going to have to actually change the scope because we are in a, um, a night mode. And the night stalker that I have actually has um, a night vision mode. And I think it has a thermal mode as well. So we'll take an extra couple of mags. We'll take a bandage. Um... We don't need any food at the moment, as you can see in the bottom left hand corner. We only are um, 69 to 71 on uh, hunger and thirst. So as long as you've got a bit of medical on us, we're okay. We're not going to um, use the, the launcher because there's no um, armoured vehicles in the area or vehicles in general. So we're just going to use these uh, rocks here as hard cover, just in case. So what we're going to do now, we're going to um, just scope this in now with the uh, Night Stalker scope. And I think this Night Stalker scope does actually have a... It does. If you look on the right-hand side, you can see it says four times to the right. Um, it does actually have a number, and that's actually the, um, the distance to target. So we're looking at 600. So... Uh, in reference to that, you use uh, page up, page down in the bottom right hand corner. So we'll range up to 600, as you can see. So what I'll do, I'll go 7. Now the, the, the zoom modes on this particular thing goes 10 times, so that's the highest it'll go to. So if we do start hitting contacts that are a bit high or a bit low, we can just um, adjust, as you can see, with the, the reticule. So what we'll need to do first is... Put on the bipod and um, basically the bipod gives us stabilization for the particular weapon we're using due to recoil okay so here we go we're going to take our first shot and see how we get on bear in mind that these guys are going to start shooting at me straight away but hopefully if they're not wearing night vision they might not be able to see where i'm shooting from So as you can see, I'm hitting a bit high. So I'm going to drop down to 600 and just see how we get on. Right, bullets are dropping a bit short. Yeah, I've got one there. Okay, that's two. Okay, we have them to reload. We'll have them to zoom in again. Okay, another one down. Lucky enough, um, what does doing the mission at the night time? It isn't. It's a bit easier for us to see them, not than them not to see us. As you, as you, as you know. guy's got his uh, light out on his weapon, I think. Oh, that was a headshot. Okay, we're not doing too bad at the moment. We've gone through two clips, but we did um, purchase 10 from the trader, so we have actually got uh, plenty of ammo left. We're just getting a good range now. Oh, we got a double kill. <laughs> I don't know if that was a ricochet or just armor for you. This guy's not hanging about. I mean, if you are getting shot out, you don't stand still, do you? Got him on the move. 
But I do know there's a couple of um, uh, troops behind that building. I'm just going to keep an eye out. There's a guy there. Slightly missing them. Gonna have to reload again. Okay, I don't know if they've actually moved to the right or to the left. So keep an eye up. Oh, got that range perfectly then. Okay, I think we've got one guy left. He's running uh, left to right, so we're just going to keep a K out on his little pattern, and then we'll uh, we'll jump in the BTR and head down there, hopefully for um, the prize, which should be some money, ideally. And we will be looting the AI for the money as well. It's just moved. Oh, he's a clever soul. Yeah, the uh, the M320 usually run it only holds um, five rounds per mag, but I'm running the 107 now, so it's actually holding um, ten rounds. Well, that was a good shot. Right, um, I'm not actually sure if I'm running thermals. No, I don't actually have any um, uh, binoculars or rangefinders. Uh, laser de designators would be better. Um, due to the fact that it does actually have a thermal optic you can use. Okay. I'm going to take that as a clear. Um, I'm hoping it is. If not, what we can do, we can actually um, use the gun on the BTR. That's if we don't come into contact with anyone with uh, shoulder launchers. Um, as we will actually struggle if that's the case. Because I've actually been... I got killed yesterday for doing exactly the same thing. We'll just quickly uh, zoom in and see if we can see any more enemies. It's looking so it's looking good so far, so we'll move down. Now the only other problem with running a sniper rifle, unless you have a secondary primary, which you know, like a machine gun or assault rifle, um, not very good at using close quarter. So what I usually do is, um, if I see enemy AI pretty close to the vehicle, I'll just try and run them over. So that's a good tip for you guys, if you're doing something similar. Okay, this is the, uh, as you can see, the mast disappeared. So what we should have left now is the AI on the ground basically the bodies oh i don't know what that is it's just a usual ai armor three uh, bug so that should actually come up as a mission complete so as you can see we've got bodies about Let's have a quick look on the map. Yep, as you can see, the uh, the waypoint or the marker on the map has disappeared, as it was here. Um, the the chap that was doing the ammo dump here was was on this side of the map as well, which is pretty cool. So that's um, what we'll usually do is drop off anything that we have on our body. So we've got some in, more inventory space. Um, we'll jump out and we'll just stop looting these guys, um, as I'll show you now. These guys have um, money on them, which is pretty cool. Um, we're not point taking um, anything that we don't need. Usually take stuff that actually has value, which will be weapons. Uh, ammunition is not really worth taking, due to the fact that it doesn't really um, give you a lot of money in return. But when you're starting out, I would definitely highly recommend you taking anything you can get your hands on. Because you've got to build up that um, that kitty to get yourself a um, pole 
a territory pole so you can start building your base. Okay, so I've got some pretty good weapons here. These uh, AI have, um, I think I'll swap that helmet, have pretty good um, gear on them sometimes. You can get quite lucky. These have a lot of ammo, um, sorry, a lot of gear. So, you know, there's certain weapons you can't actually put in inventory due to the size. Um, I do take any building materials. So that particular R RPX there. Okay. The AI mainframe has been taken down. Basically, the AI mainframe stops you from uh, voting for day or night cycle on the server. Um, one of the players has taken that out. So that gives us the facility to do a vote, vote day or night. Okay, we're just going to put the gear in the BTR. As you can see, the left-hand side, that is the, the size of the inventory for the particular vehicle. Okay, so any weapons that I um, will take, I'll just stick them in, including anything on my um, person, like um, headgear, because NVGs, are, believe, believe it or not, actually are worth some money, um, as well as shoulder launches, etc. So this particular shoulder launch has, has been knocked to the side of the captain when he was killed so if you just persist with walking over the character you will actually get a um, option to pick it up so you have 713 pop tabs on this chap we've got another nvg headset that we can take um, these particular special rigs are pretty good if you look at this one but in particular it only has a 48 armor capacity um, 48 armor sorry with 140 capacity and a weight of 80 now if we swap it for this uh carrier special rig it's um it's got a heavier weight but it's got more armor in it so you know it depended on choice and weight to character you can you you can change between you know your own preference um but i do find that if you do empty a particular item of clothing you can um you can drag these things into your backpack and then take them to the trailer to sell, which is pretty good. I'm just giving you a rundown of the things that you can do in the game just to help the, the guys who are new to the game or are wanting to get into the game. Um, I mean, I, at the end of the day, I, I never got taught this. I, I learned by watching videos, you know, like, like this one in particular and, and also... Um, playing the game as well and on all the mods that came with it and the good thing about this particular game is that it is a great game for modding it's got plenty of mods out there well established great community okay i think i've looted this guy um with regard food tin food um you have to buy a um tin opener what I seem to find is I just usually uh, eat um, instant, like noodles and crisps and stuff. Um, that's usually the better option for me. But, you know, it all depends on your own preference. So, yeah, he's got nearly a thousand tabs on this this guy, this, this particular AI, which is pretty cool. Uh, usually find most weapons are easily accessible with regards to putting in your backpack, which is pretty good. Um, I will take any building materials or anything to do with um, medical because they always come in handy as you know. So I'm going to have to come up, come back uh, for this guy's loot. So I'll head back to the BTR. Just stick this in the inventory. As you can see, we're only just over a quarter full. I don't know why um, the ammo was there, but sometimes it's actually included in the gun itself. You can never remember which guy I've looted. <laughs> so this guy's not got nearly, nearly a thousand tabs on him. He's got nothing in his backpacks because as the the bars on the left hand side indicate the, you know, the inventory space of what's left. So for the, for example, that one's three quarters full. Um, these two are empty, so there's no point actually uh, clicking on those to find out what he's got in his bag because it's empty. So just double click, see what you've got. MRE. That's actually, I mean, 
for example, if you wanted to like take the the IED, for example, if you click on it, it will actually give you a value of what it what it's worth. So that's actually worth ninety pop tabs. Um, but as you can see, the um, the mass is forty, so it's going to take a, a, a bit of size in your back pocket. But if you've got the space, I would definitely re recommend taking it. Okay. I mean, so a lot of the weapons I actually keep for myself because a lot of them are actually quite good. Because if you do, you do die in these uh, these these situations. It's it's good to go back to your base where you've got all your gears stored. And you can just basically just rearm yourself pretty easy instead of going to the trader. It doesn't actually cost you any money at all. Okay, this guy's got 750 on him. He's got a carrier rig GL, which is one of the really good um, back, uh, sorry, chest rigs in the game. So let's just offload all this stuff. And the pistol, the primary. Uh, we've got two weapons in the backpack. We've got a small AD and a. Uh, MRE and um, we'll take this guy's Saga the MP7A1 which is a secondary weapon we're not going to take the ammo or the dog food but we will take the carrier because what we'll do we'll, we'll take this thing here and we'll stick it in the backpack and um, we'll, we'll pull over the carrier rig GL as you can see this thing has got um, massive amounts of armor great capacity but the weight is 100 which is quite heavy for a chest rig but it's definitely worth taking um, when you're going to go into, you know, situations like we've just actually uh, witnessed. So, I think I've looted everybody. Yeah, these guys are done. As you can see, me character, I'm wearing a ghillie suit. I don't know how much it helps, but, uh, you know, every little, I say. I mean, if you can mask yourself on a, on a, on a rock... With a like you say, we're using a sniper rifle lawyer, and you can take it AI with with the you know with the, with the said item. So it's going to help from from you getting shot basically. So what we're going to do? We're going to head back to we're going to clear the um, you know what we'll do? We'll head back to the vehicle on the road. We'll pick that up. We'll tow that back to the traders, and then we'll we'll call that a uh, a mission complete in my book, guys. So what do you think? Uh, so don't forget, let me know what you think of the game. If you're playing it yourself, if you're just starting out. Um, do you play any other mods? Do you play Epoch? Um, there's Exile, as, as we're playing tonight. Um, you know, Daisy has got a massive following. It, it, we've got the mod community as well. Is there any other mods are playing? Or are you just running Milsim, as in um, military combat uh, games? Oh, look at this. Uh, scenarios sorry do you create your own maps yourselves and play your own scenarios that would be great to know so what we'll do we're going to hook up this um, this ambulance this is actually worth quite a bit of money actually so we'll just jump out of here I do apologize if it's gone quiet because I, I, there is an option to put your headphones in earplugs sorry um, to turn down the engine noise so what we'll do we'll quickly jump into the driver's seat because it doesn't give you the option to hook up a uh, tow rope otherwise so we'll just chop the uh, the rope off the back of the vehicle hook it up to the front of the vehicle okay it's not letting us do that for some reason so we'll jump back in and out again nope drop tow ropes This thing some, can sometimes be a bit finicky, so put them away, uh, drop them again. Okay, it's been a bit silly. Right, let's put them away on this end. <laughs> Could have a laugh. Right, deploy them here on the front. Can we attach it to the rear? No. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll, uh, I'll be back in a set see if we can figure this out. One pathetic soap story later. <laughs> All right, guys, I figured it out. He actually had to move the vehicle closer. I think you have to drive it, not sit in the front seat. Anyway, we've got it. I think it's attached, actually. Yeah, it's attached. 
So we're going to head uh, back to the trader, but in the process, we're going to drag this vehicle with us. We're putting the headphones on, or as you can see in the right hand side of the screen, the earplugs that just brings down the, the noise of the engine. And we're going to go and pick up um, not that vehicle there, the one that's past it, because I think it's actually worth more. The Quinlan's worth a lot more than that uh, BMW, which has been pretty much shot up. And I think the ambulance there is worth quite a bit of money as well. So, Plus we've got all the weapons in the inventory of the BTR, which is pretty good. And we haven't actually used any ammo for it, which is pretty cool. Um, you can actually rearm the, the vehicles in this game. Um, you need the... Uh, a rearm station which I can show you in uh, another video uh, which is pretty good or unless a guy uh, on the server has got his own base and has got a rearm station you can actually pay with money to get it rearmed so we'll get in the, the, the Quinlan I think it's called the Quinlan yep we'll get in that this thing's a really good vehicle uh, I think it was uh, introduced with the new DLC that came out with the game. Um, I don't think it was First Contact, I think it was the one before that. But do put me right in the comments below. Um, let's just drop the deploy tow ropes. We'll attach it to this particular vehicle. Look at that first time. As you can see, it's attached. And it's on the uh, under the back bumper there. And the same with this... Um, on the winch at the front to the BTR. So just quickly prop the route. We will delete the waypoint off the ma off the map with delete. And we will we need to avoid these particular areas because these are going to be uh, a concentration of I mean that one there is is a friendly mission because it's I that hostages. They are actually being taken over by enemy forces that you need to um, rescue them but we what we'll do we'll run down this road here and then head up the main main interstate into the trader which is here as you can see on the map so we'll bring you back one more bit closer <coughs> hey guys welcome back we are just about to turn into the traders to get rid of the vehicles that we've actually uh, salvaged and we are going to make some serious Pop tabs. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. So the terminal is just here on the left hand side. I'm just going to pull in now. Which is the airfield at Altus, by the way, if you didn't know. This is the main map that you'd ever play if you do play um, Armour 3. There's a guy here running the, uh, got the same vehicle. So we'll just quickly jump out. Well, I do apologise for the massive lag spike there and the delay. So, we'll pick up the tow ropes on both vehicles. So, we need to drive the vehicle into the trader to sell. So, what you need to do is just, you know, as you would do normally in any vehicle, just jump in. Well, you don't really need to jump in, in all, in all honesty. You just need to um, go over and just tell them you want to sell it. So, 62.40 for that one. And um, the Quinlan, let's see how much we get for this guy. It's not called the Quinlan, it's called the uh, Quillin. My bad. 86.40 for that one. And, and also we've got the BTR which is left over. As you can see at the bottom of the screen uh, in the white with the little, um, I don't know what you call it, the, the can opener sign, it's got 36k. We've got 20k for doing the um, listing post mission, which came in after, after we actually did it. And what we're going to do now, we're going to uh, run over to the traders and sell all the rest of the weapons that we um, salvaged from the dead soldiers which are all these here on the left hand side it's quite a lot actually <coughs> um, 
so if you quick look at the inventory, uh, sorry, not the inventory, the... The uh, money I have at the moment, it's just 36164. What I'll do, I'll sell everything and I'll bring you back when everything's just sold. And um, I'm sure you don't want to see all that because it is quite boring. And I'll tell you what we've actually uh, made in profit with regards selling the two vehicles as well, which is pretty cool. So basically what you do before, before I uh, quickly cut through it is um, go to the trader, click on the vehicle that you have outside, and then you've got a list of everything here that you want to sell. And all you need to do is just click on it, for example, this one here, go down to sell, and it will give you a price. There you go there. 43 pop subs and 8 respect and the respect works in conjunction with things that you can buy so when you firstly start off in a server that you have no respect so for example if you want to buy some building materials like an axe or a cooking pot to cook food you may not have the experience to unlock that and that's how you earn experience by doing missions so basically it promotes what you need to do in the server doing missions so you can get respect and money to build and progress it's basically an incentive um, and also as you can see in the top left hand corner there we've just got a new uh, mission called device recovery which has been completed by a particular player on the server and if I can show you quickly I don't know if it's gonna actually show it's been completed um, device recovery well it's not showing but um, what it'll do, it'll be one of these here in particular, and it'll basically disappear. And the, the, the player that's doing the mission will actually be in the vicinity of this area because he's more likely collecting the loot, the money, or any, um, any crates of weapons or building materials he's been dropped. Okay. Okay, guys, we've just sold it, pretty much everything that we no longer require. We can't sell the rocket because it won't let us sell it. So we're just going to like keep it or if we pick up a launch that we will use in the future video, we will actually take it with us. It's actually used in an RPG-18, which I actually haven't found a launch for it as yet. Um, we've sold everything else. Everything else we've actually kept, um, oh, apart from these two particular items, which we, can, we'll, we will get sold off camera. Um, the launcher and the um, the sniper rifle we were using. We're going to pick up some extra ammo, uh, some extra food, some medical supplies before we leave. So basically, we are on 45, 40, 439 off one mission, but that doesn't um, take away the fact that what few we've used, which isn't really much because you can get them free on the maps anyway. So that's not too bad. Um, we haven't died. Um, in this particular mission we've got the two vehicles which is pretty good quite lucrative so always keep an eye out for those if you see them on any particular server that you're playing on if you want another server that I'm playing on you're more than welcome to come over and, and, and join you know it's a public server I can leave an IP uh, address in the comments below um, all my social link uh, social links are in the description of the video I'm going to head back to my base off camera, so I will catch you in the next one. And all I can say, guys, is uh, I really appreciate you watching. I hope you've learned something tonight uh, in regards to playing Exile or Armour in general. I am going to do a, a more detailed tutorial in the future, so do watch out for that video on my channel. And all I can say, guys, is... Uh, thanks for your support i really appreciate it and i'll hope to catch you guys in the next one thanks again and bye for now